politics, new economy, a new Taiwan. That's what voters cheered as they celebrated a landslide win by Tsai Ing-wen. She's Taiwan's first female president. And her pro-independence party wants to revisit ties with China. Our democracy, national identity and international space must be fully respected and any suppression would undermine the stability of cross-strait relations. For the first time in six decades, the DDP also took charge of parliament, promising more rules and transparency surrounding any new deals with China. It's a new era of uncertainty on the Taiwanese Strait. China considers Taiwan a wayward province. After the Chinese Civil War in 1949, defeated nationalists fled to Taiwan to set up a single-party state under the Kuomintang. The 1980s saw the end of martial law and the beginning of democracy in Taiwan, which fast grew into an economic powerhouse. But Beijing has always pursued its One China principle and sees the island uniting under it eventually. In a recent statement, China's Taiwan Affairs Office said we are willing to strengthen contact with any political party or social group that agrees that the two sides of the strait belong to One China. China has warned President Tsai Ing-wen against any moves toward independence, threatening to use force if necessary. But immediately after the elections, Taiwan staged an unscheduled military drill, including a beach landing and other naval exercises. Stoking tension further, outgoing President Ma Ying-zhou recently visited a contested South China Sea island, sparking criticism from the U.S. Washington, a longtime defender of Taiwan, is wary of being drawn into a conflict with China. The Taiwanese people have spoken in favor of more sovereignty, but Taiwan's new president has hinted she'll keep the status quo. The island is almost entirely dependent on commerce with Beijing, and its economy has slowed. The new government believes turning away from China will give Taiwan a chance to walk its own road. But it could be a tough one. Sandra Gatman, The Newsmakers.